Hello to all my friends out there, and this is the Rhoda Stone Show. And so I, I was a couple days ago, and I found some dented cans, and I thought, well, let's see what I can find. So, okay, I found quite a bit of stuff. And so I'm going to show you the stuff that I found in just a couple days. And what I'm thinking is I should be able to easily find one month's worth of dented cans. And so, you know, since they're so cheap, why not? So you might be saying, well, why would you want to do that? Well, you would want to do that to create a nice big stockpile. Another thing is, if something happened, you could give some of this food away. So the first night I bought two of these um, boxes of crackers. I bought, I bought this stuff at 99 cent only for 50 cents. I bought some hamburger help, helper. I bought two cans of, of refried beans. I bought one can of, now this one was pretty badly um, dented, but it looked like it was okay. Uh, one can of Alfredo sauce. And there was one can of peas. So this is good because you could put the peas in the Alfredo sauce. And you know, I bought some, um, I bought some bags of uh, pasta yesterday. And then I bought tomato um, pasta sauce and I bought fruit cocktails. So tonight, okay, now this, there was a bulge on the top of this one, so I'm not using this. I think I see, see how this one doesn't, but this one does, so... I'm not using this, but I bought this marked down. Yeah, I don't think this one's safe, but I'm still going to make a fruit cocktail cake. I will return this. And then tonight, I will make some spaghetti using my spaghetti sauce. See how this one's a little bit... You have to watch out. See how this one's not, but this one is a little bit? That could indicate botulism. You have to be very careful. Okay, so when I make my um, spaghetti sauce, I am going to use my chicken that I bought marked down. And what I, I will do is when it um, when it defrosts a little, I will cut it in chunks and I will um, grind it in my blender. I just put a few in uh, a few pieces. I have to throw it away. A few pieces at a time in the blender, and then I will make some. Um, I will make some uh, meatballs. Let me give you my uh, all-time best uh, meatball recipe, and I will post this recipe on uh, Twitter. And uh, somebody said they don't have Twitter. Well, you don't need Twitter like Facebook. You can just type in the Rotostone Twitter and I should come right up. Or Rotostone Instagram. I also have Pinterest. There's a lot of recipes on there. And somebody said, you know, they're not eating um they're not eating meat right now on Fridays. So here is a frittata. I don't know if eggs are allowed, but this is a good recipe anyway. And if you can get this cookbook in one of the thrift stores i'd definitely try to get one okay so now back to uh the first um i bought some i bought these for 25 cents i bought candy these are good i bought a lot more than this i have eaten them and i bought a candy bar so can you see how I should be able to easily acquire a stockpile of food very um, cheap. And then uh, today I went there and I bought these carrots. And I bought this apple pie 
So within the last few days, so you figure uh, one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and fifty cents. So I bought all of this food for uh, six dollars and fifty cents. I bought the one can that you know was no good. I'm pretty sure it's no good for fifty cents. So okay, you guys. God bless you all.